symmetry. In this module, you will learn about line symmetry and mirror symmetry. Look at this Taj Mahal and Tiruvanna Malai. They look so beautiful, aren't they? These pictures of architectural marvel are beautiful because of their symmetry, as here certain figures are with evenly balanced proportions. When one shape becomes exactly like another, if you flip, slide or turn it, then the shape is said to be symmetrical. Let us learn about line of symmetry. Look at this picture. Let us fold this picture into half. Can you see this white line? A line of symmetry, shown here in white, is the imaginary line, where you could fold the image and have both halves match exactly. Here we can see that the one half of the image is the reflection of the other half image. It is also known as mirror line. The line of symmetry, also called the mirror line, can be in any direction. Let us learn line symmetry with one more example. Here is a paper of a rectangular shape. Let us first fold it so that we get a center line. Is this fold a line of symmetry? Why? Yes, it is. One side of this shape looks exactly like another if you fold it. Let us learn about blot painting method. Take some watercolor and a sheet of paper. First, fold the sheet into half so that we get a center line. Now, open it. Can you see the line in the middle? We can see that this line divides this page into two equal parts. Now, put few drops of ink randomly on the one half of the paper. Then, fold the paper back again and press it down. Now, open the paper. We can see that the ink has spread over and formed a pattern. Similarly, draw a butterfly using this method. For that, Paint half of the butterfly on the one side of the fold of drawing paper. We'll use three different paint colors to make it look more beautiful. Now fold the paper, press it down and open it. Here is our butterfly painting ready. Isn't it beautiful? If we observe, we can see that both the halves are identical. Is the resulting figure symmetric? Let's check if we place a mirror in between the painting. We see that half of the image on the paper is exactly like the other half of the image on the mirror. Hence, this image is said to be symmetric, as here we see line of the symmetry. We see that by folding the paper into half, we get the exact pattern of one half on the other half of the paper. In simple words, we can say that we got mirror images of each other. Do you know there are different types of line symmetry? Like vertical line symmetry, horizontal line symmetry or diagonal line of symmetry. Can you see this right direction arrow? It is in horizontal line symmetry. Look at this vase. It is in vertical line symmetry. Now, what about the star shape? It has multiple lines of symmetry. It has a diagonal line of symmetry. It also has vertical line of symmetry. Look at this kite. Can you tell me how many lines of symmetry does the kite shape have? This kite shape has only one line of symmetry. That is, vertical line of symmetry. Can you read this word? Try. Okay now, let's keep a mirror in front of it. Now read this with the help of the mirror. Can you read now? Great! The word is reflection. We all like to stand in front of the mirror. We all can see our own image in the mirror. But have you noticed one thing? That when you stand in front of the mirror, you and your image are always at the same distance from the surface of a mirror. 
This is called mirror line. You can see that your left and the right sides appear inverted in a mirror. It shows mirror symmetry, with the mirror line being the line of symmetry. The line of symmetry is related to mirror reflection. An object and its mirror image are equal in shape and size. Look at the letter B. Let us keep this letter in front of the mirror. Can you see some changes in the letter that appeared in the mirror? Yes, we can see that the letter B appears reversed in a mirror. Let us try some more letters. Letter C, D, E and F. We see that all these letters appears reversed in a mirror. Also, when an object is reflected, there is no change in the lengths and angles. That is, the lengths and angles of the object and the corresponding lengths and angles of the image are the same. But there are some letters which remain same in their mirror image. Let us try to see letter A in the mirror. We can see that there is no change in its mirror image. It does not look reversed or inverted. Try letter H. Amazing! Here also, we see the mirror image of letter H is the same. Do you know the letters A, H, I, M, O, T, U, V, W, X and Y appear the same in their mirror images, whereas letter B, C, D, E, F, G, J, K, L, N, P, Q, R, S of the alphabet appear reversed in their mirror image because the letters written from right to left appears as written from left to right in their mirror image. This concept is used in writing word ambulance in reverse manner on the ambulance vehicle so that the other vehicles while driving can read it correctly in their rear mirror. We all like to draw a rangoli. Look at this rangoli pattern. Isn't it beautiful? Can you find some symmetry pattern in this rangoli? Yes, we see some symmetry pattern in this rangoli too. The line of symmetry formed in this rangoli makes it look more beautiful. Symmetry has plenty of applications in real life. We can see symmetry in art, architecture, textiles designing, science and nature too, etc. Let us revise all that we learnt in this module on symmetry.